exhibition features paintings, prints, and mixed media works selected for their vibrant use, alone or in combination, of light, color, and action. Three elements fundamental to art. Capturing the subtle modulations of light has fascinated artists for millennia. Victor Vassarelli immigrated from Hungary to post-World War II Paris. In Manhattan and Oetka, both from about 1970, Vassarelli applies perspective, light, and shadow to simple geometric forms, generating complex images that play with optical perception. Harmony Paget approaches light through her materials. In these two works, layers result in subtle shadows that dance with lines. A palette dabbed with paint, the iconic image of the artist, reflects the central place of color in art. In Billy Hassel's 2015 Fox and the Cactus Patch, dense color emphasizes stylized depictions of flora and fauna against a legendary Texas sky. Birds and plants populate a landscape half a world away in Laura Vatsunitska's Ukrainian Yard from 2016. Vatsunitska combines a traditional academic composition with the decorative arts found on everyday items like the embroidered linens in her grandmother's village home as she celebrates the renaissance of Ukrainian traditions that followed independence from Russia in 1991. In contrast to Hassel's and Vatsunitska's colorful realism, Infinite Bloom No. 11 features glossy abstract striations in bright colors. The artist, John Holt Smith, digitally enlarges, manipulates, and stretches a small section of a photograph, giving depth, motion, and scale to the fragment. Action is a means of making art emerged in the 1950s. Lee Krasner, a member of the New York School of Abstract Expressionist Painters, explored a wide range of techniques during her career. In bluestone, goldstone, and pinkstone, the rich, solitary colors highlight the lyricism of her active drips, pores, and smudges. Like Krasner, Bernd Hausmann leaves abundant evidence of his activity. His 2015 untitled 2458 balances brilliant hues with white space on an aluminum surface, creating a buoyant effect as the colors play across the space. Judy Youngblood evokes another kind of action in her 2013 abstraction based on weather. The title, Accumulating Snow, 3311, reveals the natural process behind Youngblood's fine lines, vibrant colors, and dynamic shapes. Whether starting with simple geometries or complex materials or processes, these artists maneuver light, color, and action to offer a visual experience that renews and animates. <laughs>